Yes, here we go. How does the cows do like that? It dies from the bar, man.
start the most fun like that. That was it. That was the whole story. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, it's not great. That's not it. That's insane. Why are you just plugging in? Yeah. It'll be louder than it. And then I can just hit the. I can hit the same note as the feedback. Yeah. Yeah. We are in the middle of the show. I don't have the lights. There's a mouse in the house.
these songs? No. Cross your fingers. <laughs> Oh, 
can train on Halloween. Yeah. <laughs>
out loud to y'all on that screen. You know? Did I only spill the one beer in the book? I don't know. Just the one, I think. Well, that's fine. It got a little kicked. So. What's new to them? <laughs> Because those three songs, those three songs are about how the military industrial complex preys upon rural poverty, and urban poverty too. But this, those specific stories are about. <laughs> And so this is the final conclusion to sort of those three songs about my experience living in a small town and didn't have any options about what to do and joining the military. And then they figured out I was crazy enough to do There's a lot of new ones. And so they were like, yeah, we gotta send your ass home, man. There goes Nate with the report you It didn't matter how well I was doing, I was doing what I know. But
warm day. It's a warm day. So it rained earlier, and I was like, oh, this is a nice, cool, refreshing rain. And then I'm sitting there on the back porch where I typically am, looking at the garden, watching the chickens fuck around or whatever. The dogs are walking the shore. And it stops raining, and the sun comes out, and there's just steam coming off of fucking everything. And I was like, it's about to get humid as fuck. So, anyway. That has nothing to do with this song whatsoever. I just wanted to mention that it's fucking hot. And, and all of y'all, y'all are fucking hot too. I like it. Yeah. I meant to tell you, you guys all look great tonight. Especially you, Terrence. Talk about cool rocks or dirt or 
I knew that shit. I'm down. Let's talk about rocks. So, so I'm down there. And this is my first job, and it's fucking August. In the middle of the Pine Forest, Louisiana. And, uh, I wrote this song mostly just because I was homesick. I didn't really like life number one at the time, so it was really just about being at home. This one's called Louisiana. And I just released this one. And you can find it on wherever you stream services. But if you wanted to get it on Bandcamp and pay for it, that'd be cool as fuck. Help me forget 
10 years. We're not sitting out in this yard or whatever with way of hair. He seemed alright for a while, he just seemed quiet. He's gonna be out back and working on his old, I think it's like a 65 Chevy piece of shit. He never got that down. And most likely he'd ride that around. Then one day, maybe a year before he got uh, arrested and sent to prison for a really, 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 really fucking long time. I was out there, he was putting bars up on his wing, and I was like, Jerry, what the fuck are you doing, man? He's like, blah, 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 blah. And I realized this motherfucker was a white supremacist living right next door to me. So I wrote this song basically about how fucking sad that is and how fucking stupid that motherfucker is. But the good news is, he's in jail for the rest of his fucking life.